Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Is Meghan Markle making the royal family more selective about letting celebrities into their ranks in the future? Before Meghan, Duchess of Sussex married into the royal family, she was an actress. Meghan had been working in Hollywood for many years and was most well known for her role on the TV show Suits. After becoming a duchess, Meghan was expected to fulfill her royal duties. However, she ended up only working as a royal for a year and a half before she and Prince Harry decided to step away from that role. The pair moved to Los Angeles and has since been receiving constant criticism for their decision to leave royal life behind. The royal family has not spoken out too much about their feelings on this situation, but it does beg the question, is Meghan making other royals more selective in the future about letting celebrities join their ranks? Meghan Markle has been criticized for acting too much like a celebrity. Ever since she joined the royal family, Meghan has been criticized for behaving more like a celebrity than a royal. For example, in 2019, she and Harry caught flack for making their son's birth and christening extremely private. Some fans felt this was hypocritical considering taxpayers funded renovations for their home and expected them to be public figures. Additionally, Meghan came under fire for editing the September 2019 issue of British Vogue. Critics felt she was taking a stance on political issues since she featured women like former First Lady Michelle Obama, as well as New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. Socialite or author Lady Colin Campbell criticized Meghan's behavior last year, saying she does not seem to understand what it means to be a royal. Lady Campbell said, Her behavior shows a lack of understanding and appreciation of what being royal is. I'm not sure who she thinks she is behaving this way. Expert says most royals understand they do not have the same job as celebrities. In a new documentary called Prince William, a monarch in the making, royal expert Nick Bullen explained there are fundamental differences between royals and celebrities. Although they might be popular like movie stars and singers, royals understand they are playing a different game than those in Hollywood. Bullen said, The joy of royalty and British royalty particularly is none of the royals see themselves as celebrities they're born into this job. Most celebrities crave fame. Most celebrities have worked to get that fame, whether it's talent or, in the case of sometimes these reality stars, maybe lack of talent, but it's there for the royals from day one. Bolin also added, I think royals choose not to consider the celebrity world because they literally don't see themselves as part of it. They haven't sought fame. They've got a duty and they do the best that they can with their duty. And you know, we've seen when royalty and celebrity come together, it can sometimes not work. Is the royal family going to be more selective about letting celebrities into their ranks? For critics, Meghan's situation seems to be highlighting the issues that can arise when a celebrity becomes a royal. Things got more exacerbated when Meghan and Harry decided to step down from being senior royals, to retreat to a more private life in Los Angeles. At the same time, the couple also took on more celebrity jobs by supporting a book written about them and working in the film industry. Meghan has no doubt received a lot of criticism that could reflect negatively on the royal family, but there is no proof that other royals will now hesitate before letting another celebrity join their ranks. In fact, some fans even believe Meghan's presence is good for the royal family. For instance, her way of branding might be too celebrity for traditional royals, but it could be what is needed for the monarchy to continue being relevant with younger people. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not let you wait any longer. Let's start the story. 
Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have always struggled with one issue in their relationship. All relationships have their ups and downs and challenges. It takes a great deal of patience and compromises to sustain a long-term relationship that is affirming and happy. As members of the British royal family know all too well, it's even more difficult to sustain a marriage in spotlight. Despite all of the drama that they've had to deal with since Meghan, Duchess of Sussex joined the royal fold, Prince Harry and Meghan have remained devoted to one another. So much so, that the pair decided to leave the firm to become financially independent private citizens. Still, their move to Los Angeles has been challenging, and it's also brought up the one issue they've always struggled with as a married couple. Meghan Markle was not embraced into the royal family. When the Sussexes announced Megxit, royal fans and experts were stunned. However, it had very clear that Meghan was not being embraced into the royal family. She knows reports. While Kate's support of her husband over the years has been admirable, it's immediately clear how this model wouldn't work for Meghan and Prince Harry. For one, Meghan came into the relationship with celebrity of her own and a global fan base. Whether or not her intention had been to outshine Harry, the public was inevitably more interested in her actions than Harry's at various turns, a reaction that was likely ill-received by the royal family. Recently, leaked documents reveal that Meghan felt unprotected by the royal family, especially when she was pregnant with her son, Archie. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have a very happy marriage. Though things haven't panned out how they hoped with the royal family, and they haven't yet found their footing in Los Angeles, the Sussexes have a very happy marriage. Royal expert Camilla Tomini said, Two years in, they're still very much in love. So much has happened for Meghan and Harry, but I'm told by a source very close to them that all of the experiences, the challenges, the obstacles of 2019 and 2020 have really made them even closer. They've always been a great team and a partnership, and you've seen that when you're with them. But they were described as hand in glove, and that idea that really one just fits the other beautifully, and they complement each other. They work well together, and I think looking back on what's clearly been a challenging and a testing year, the one thing that just hasn't faltered is their commitment to each other and their love for one another. They've done this together as a couple, and I think it's important to remember that. Prince Harry has been accused of getting swept away by Meghan Markle. Prince Harry has been accused of abandoning his family to make Meghan happy. Royal expert Angela Levin told Newsweek, Harry's number one priority is to make Meghan happy, and he'll do everything he can because he feels guilty that he did not do enough to protect his mother. It stayed with him, so he's determined to make Meghan happy. I think he adores Meghan. He thinks she's absolutely wonderful. In fact, Meghan's enthusiasm and tendency to rush big projects caused friction with the royal staff. Royal expert Tom Quinn said, It's always been a problem. Early on in the relationship, Meghan is a dynamo. She's full of positive energy that would sweep Harry along. But once the honeymoon is over, you still have to fill the days. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.